Hello. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this meditation thing. I think it's something that people get really hung up on because we've been taught so many different ways to meditate and we've taught how important certain elements are. Uh, we've been taught to focus on the breath, which I'm discovering is something that a lot of people in the Western mindset have a really hard time with because we kind of wonder, are we focusing on the breath right? Are we breathing in right? Are we hyperventilating? Are we not breathing enough? It actually creates a lot of tension. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about that and really kind of help you understand about meditations. So the thing about focusing on the breath, this is what a lot of meditation teachers teach us because it's something that we all do. Everyone has to breathe. And so it should be something that we can just allow to happen and have it be natural, but it isn't always. So beginners try and they try and they try and the harder they try, the more they find themselves trying to control the breath, worrying about if they're breathing right, all kinds of crazy stuff. And it, it actually literally drove me crazy as well until I was reading a book from Chad Ming Tan called The Book of Joy, or I'm sorry, Joy on Demand. And he talked about how as an engineer, it was really hard for him too, that he was constantly focusing on, am I breathing too much? Am I not breathing enough? Am I doing it right? And it really got to the point where he just couldn't focus on anything else but the stress about whether he was breathing right. Meditation isn't about that. Meditation is simply about being here right now and being present with whatever is happening right now. Sure, you can focus on the breath, you can focus on a candle flame, you can focus on a lot of things, but it really is about just being present. So for me, the trick that I use is to simply sit and feel the weight of my body and realize that I'm right here, right now, and just be good with that, to be just comfortable, relaxed in one place. There are a lot of body scan meditations and we'll do one of those later, but it's really about just being here and not freaking out about everything else. So rather than focusing on the breath, I often focus on my feet on the floor, the weight of my body in the chair, and that helps me to just kind of get settled. That first breath to just kind of bring myself to presence is important for me. It may not be for you. It really doesn't matter, but you can totally meditate without focusing on your breathing. In fact, I highly recommend it, especially when you're learning to bring an element of meditation into your mindfulness practice. It's simply focused awareness on something. Now, that may drive you crazy too, deciding what to focus on. The other thing that I hear from people is that I can't meditate, my mind is too busy. Well, everybody's mind is too busy. Everyone's mind is busy. What our mind does as soon as we have a quiet moment is start thinking of things for us to do. It starts getting distracted and jumping around. And the whole practice of mindfulness meditation is first to notice that our mind is jumping around. Okay, that's a win. That's being present. You've actually noticed that you noticed that you weren't paying attention. <laughs> it's really, it's really very simple. So there are a lot of ways that we can be present and focused. And the easiest way for me to learn to start to meditate was to start with very small short meditations. I read a thing from Thich Nhat Hanh, a Buddhist monk who said, if you're doing the dishes, do the dishes. That can be mindful too. That can be a meditation. So the next time you're doing the dishes, stop thinking about all the other things that you have to do and just focus on doing the dishes, the hot water, 
getting things as clean as you want them to be. The practice of cleaning the dishes is actually a meditation in itself. There's also walking meditation, which is simply taking a walk and focusing on nothing but walking. I take walks periodically through my neighborhood and I focus on what's on around me. I look at the flowers. I live in a beautiful neighborhood and most of the, the homes have gardens or at least flowers in the front yard. So walking through the neighborhood, I'll notice the changes in the neighborhood, the flowers that have bloomed, the flowers that are fading the lawns that have been mowed, the lawns that are not mowed. I'm not there to judge. I'm simply there to be present in that time. And when I get back to my house and I sit down in my office, I'm often feeling quite refreshed and energized. And if I had left the house having worked on a problem that I was stuck on and not thinking about that problem for the 10 minutes it takes me to walk around the block, when I get back, I may have a new approach to that. So I invite you to try my type of meditation, the type of meditation that has been taught to me by many people, to just be here right now. Don't freak out about all the rest of it. That will come. And the longer you can do this, the longer you'll be able to sit in meditation. And the longer you'll have peace in your mind. So whatever it is that you're doing, Think about it as a meditation. If it's something that you're really focused on, you'll find that meditation can help with that. So just give it a try. And then let me know what it was that really worked for you, what kind of meditation you find works best for you. Thank you.